Hello and a warm welcome to Victoria Feels Good and thank you all for joining me today. And you've not subscribed yet, then please do hit that button. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how I stay slim and how I stay slim approaching 50. So this is not a one size fits all solution. Um, you have to tailor a diet and an exercise regime that works for you. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about what I do and hopefully I can guide you in some way and it'll help you stay slim and lose weight if you need to. So what I first recommend you do is get yourself a calorie tracker. This is just a game changer. Um, when I was a bit overweight in my 40s, this is how I started tracking my weight and it, it's a real eye opener. So get yourself a tracker and record everything that you eat no cutting corners it's really good to see what you're what you're consuming in a day in a week and you'll see all those little extra calories um, and then what you need to be aiming for and again this depends on your body type I aim for around 1800 calories a day um, and then it's all about exercise so Again, find an exercise that you really enjoy. Myself personally, I do around 20 minutes of uh, yoga when I wake up. Uh, I run with Bertie in the morning and then the rest of the day I'm walking. I might do some um, weight training in the week, a couple of small sessions, um, but that's it. I do things that I enjoy, that I love. It's never a chore. And then for my daily intake um, every day I have a porridge a porridge is great to have for breakfast because it will really fill you up and it's really nourishing and then you can just use seasonal fruits to complement it so at the moment I'm using lots of pears and stewed apples in my porridge with some walnuts um, a little bit of maple syrup um, yeah so try that out seasonally and then try to eat your biggest meal in the middle of the day this is really really going to help you so i will have some lovely chicken and some steamed veggies or some salmon or um, you know i might treat myself to some like grass-fed beef but keep that main meal for um your midday meal lunch and then in the evening i'll keep it light so i'll have you know, in the summer I have a nice salad or in the winter I'd have like a nice bean stew um, and I'd eat that meal by six o'clock. Um, and then if you're feeling peckish after six, that's fine, but have something light like, you know, a nice cup of milk and that will really, really um, fill you up and you're not gonna be reaching for like the chocolates or the biscuits. And yeah, see how that gets on. So I also have a big sweet tooth. Um, so I like to make sure that I've got a few calories for a few pieces of dark chocolate, which I really enjoy, or a couple of dates. Dates are lovely if you've got a sweet tooth as well. Um, but yeah, again, I try to keep around 1800 calories, or if I've, got, if I've got like a bit of a deficit for the weekend, then I'll treat myself then and have a glass of wine as well or something. So I hope that's helped you. I mean, essentially in a nutshell, it's exercise and tracking your calories and just doing things that you enjoy. So I'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves inside and out and take care.